Hey, how are you guys? This is JP Sarri. Uh, welcome to another episode of my weekly vlog. Uh, today I have something that um, it really, um, you know, it, it's something that I want to make a comment about. Uh, I really, it's been, I received a few couple of messages from some of my friends and they ask me questions, what I think about certain things. Uh, normally I always answer to those questions, but uh, I would like to kind of emphasize a little more. Uh, you know bring a little more insight into it as we know there has there has been a lot of cancellations recently by many companies we have heard a lot about um, what's happening in this case with SciShow that is canceling a lot of the, this uh, a lot of the work that they've been doing especially for Marvel uh, of course uh, besides that there is a lot of talks concerning other companies uh, we know that there's things happening um, of course uh, that brings a lot of frustration for a lot of people a lot of people feel, uh, feel frustrated about it they um, you know, and it's understandable. Uh, we can say it has something to do with the quality of the stuff that is being produced. We can say it has to do we, uh, with the companies really moving forward into newer things and, uh, and a new approach to their business. Uh, but definitely has something to do more and to be more honest, more about speculation. It um, has to do in this case with Marvel position concerning uh, its franchises and what you know they're trying to accomplish. As you know, there's a big battle between uh, Marvel that of course is be uh, belongs and is owned by Disney Studios, by Disney Enterprise and of course uh, Century Fox and uh, Sony Studios uh, concerning the rights of in this case Spider-Man uh, filming rights concerning the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, of course all of this really uh, really is playing a big part of what's happening as you know Fantastic Four has been pulled out of uh, publication uh, we don't know how long that's gonna happen there's been changes and there's gonna be changes with the X-Men uh, definitely, uh, Marvel is using its uh, really uh, its power, uh, in this case Disney, to really try to bring those franchises back. Uh, is that a good thing? Uh, personally, I think it is. I think uh, there is a very uh, smart move from Marvel. I think it's a very clever strategy what they trying to do and the way they, they're doing it. Uh, definitely kind of hurts a lot of people. Uh, there's a lot of uh, products, merchandise that, of course, and in this case, the statues, uh, collectibles. Of course, Marvel made a lot of mistakes back in the 90s, and they're paying the price for those mistakes. But I think Marvel is working really hard to recoup all that loss, and I think we have seen the benefits of it. Of course, now we have seen great movies because of the fact that they hadn't, they're not able to produce anything for the X-Men or Fantastic Four or Spider-Man. They have to resource to bring in some uh, characters, some, some teams that... Really, if it wasn't the case for this, we would never be able to see like Guardians of the Galaxy, like the Inhumans that are coming, uh, uh, Doctor Strange, all those characters. Uh, you know, Marvel is utilizing the time, you know, really smart. And in reality, it's really beneficial for all of us. I personally believe that Marvel is making the right choices, the right decisions. Uh, yes, it's hurting us a little bit as you're a collector, but you have to see the big picture of what's coming to us. Well, as long as Sony, as Sony owns the Spider-Man, uh, the, the filming rights for Spider-Man, as long as Century Fox uh, owns the rights for the, the, in this case, the X-Men and the Fantastic Four, we're not going to be able to see these characters. And they will continue milking that. So, of course, Marvel is trying to, at, at a certain extent, trying to kill everything that, uh, uh, in, you know, circumvents everything that uh, in, encircles uh, these characters and these teams. And uh, they're doing it this way, of course. Uh, we have to understand this part as long as there's merchandise out there for these characters it's going to be people buying their products and that also brings people uh, and raises uh, arouses the interest for people to watch the movies if you take that away of course uh, you're taking that power out of uh, in this the, the, the companies to produce we fail to understand that as long as there is uh, you know products out there uh, the images of a lot of these characters continues to be in, in the, fresh in the, in the minds of a lot of consumers and consumers are always suckers for trends we are suckers for trends we buy the newest thing the important thing what's out there um, Marvel is banking of the idea that as long as they can take that away uh, they take away the urgency for a lot of people to even go to the movie theater and watch these movies we're talking about millions of dollars in loss they are sacrificing uh, some of the gains some millions of dollars in gains of you know and rights and you know franchise rights and you know all those uh, um, all those licenses that they give into the big picture of the billions of dollars they can make with the possibility of having those franchises all in one banner and it should be that way uh, when it's gonna happen we don't know how it's gonna happen we don't know 
we can only assume that it's going to happen soon but it's going to take some time and of course as uh, in this case especially us the the comic book readers and lovers we have to be uh you know we have to work with that we have to wait with that we have to uh, you know to be patient about it uh this you know changes small changes bring big changes and you know there's a lot of good things coming soon for all of us one of the big benefits of what's happening is that you know we are seeing uh, a big number of people and you have to we have to always remember this the people that really sustain this industry especially with the movies and it's not the comic book readers but a lot of people that have nothing to do with comic books people that do not read comic books but they are, are buying and purchasing tickets in the movie theater there is there is, uh, the money is there there is where you're gonna find the money uh, even though we might assume that the companies are not doing good for us in reality what they're doing as a business they are trying to increase their profits become more profitable be making this franchise more profitable uh, Marvel and Disney in this case has the money to really bring these franchises back from pretty much dead uh, there's no other company in the world I would say this that has so much pool so much financial resources to really make a comeback for all these franchises so definitely if they completely destroy in this case the background for Fantastic Four uh, not supporting in this case uh, you know the movies with the comic books with the merchandise uh, they still have the power after if they get those franchises back those licenses back they're able to bring them back because they have the financial power to do it and don't forget these stories that we love them uh, we love so much are stories that are very uh, you know they are timeless our stories are very important and they are really engraved in the in the mindset of the pop culture that we all love so definitely there is power there and definitely I think we're gonna see a lot of great things coming in the near future and when I talk about the near, near future I'm not talking about two months from now I'm talking about what's gonna happen this year what's gonna happen next year I think uh, we have to always emphasize this I grew up in the late 70s so I'm a child of the 80s uh, I'm a teenager of the 90s so back in the day we didn't have movies we didn't have none of this stuff you know we hardly have cartoons and toys were really cheap so statues were something unthinkable but through all of that you know what we see now is, is a product of that time and definitely if I have waited so long for all of this to come and see it with my own eyes at Marvel at the at the advancements that we have and the, the things that we can enjoy today I definitely believe that you know even if we have to wait five years or even ten years for uh, you know you know things to change and, and turn I'm, I'm willing to take that chance I think we should take that chance and we should be patient about it so I would say I tell to everybody that is following all my friends that ask this question how I'm concerned about what's happening with Kotobukiya how am I concerned what's happening with SciShow how am I concerned what's happening with um, you know with other uh, collectible lines I would say I'm just patient this is a great time for you probably to try some new things maybe it's time for you to to get into different lines uh, DC is producing a lot of stuff there's a lot of good franchises for DC comics my answer to a lot of people is very simple um, you know this is a great time maybe the fact that you don't see that that really gives you a lot of time to really kind of save to put your money away uh, I think it's a great time for you to probably invest into a different collectible line but was, I'm very hopeful I'm a very hopeful person in a lot of things and I think that you know we're gonna see a big change in the near future and we're gonna see more collectibles and more more cool things coming our way and there's a lot of new companies uh, and but we have to uh, really see things as they come and not to be so so you know so sad or get depressed because you know one character is not produced I think we're gonna see it with time we just have to be very patient one good example I can give is what you see with um, you know with their depth uh, it really uh, it only took a bad movie and definitely that was a bad movie with Ben Affleck to really uh, change the whole thing to really kill the desire for people to watch the movie for a good amount of years and to the point that you know um, this case the let the the, the the reality the franchise kind of die in the, in the in the in the theaters and so the rights were reverted back to Marvel so Marvel now is taking a chance and is doing something that is actually I think is we're gonna see a lot and we will see a lot and I think we I'm happy about that with the this you know this show that is coming through Netflix uh, the whole season that is coming on April 10 I'm really looking forward to it that's an example that shows us that actually things like this really help and you know you didn't hear too much about you know their devil for so many years after the movie uh, you know the you know the only thing you can hear from their devil was the stuff that wasn't in the, in, the, in the comic books only comic books
British, but there was no, you know, there was not a lot of uh, merchandise out there for people that had nothing to do with the comic books. So all I can tell you is this, you know, I really recommend people to stay positive, uh, not to fall into despair. Uh, good things are coming our way, so we have to wait for them. So thank you very much for watching uh, for watching my uh, my blog. I'll see you on the next one. So I'm dropping the hammer. Uh, talk to you later, my friends.